Coke Zero, now more delicious. Does it look like I'm crying, guys? Um, it's been an emotional day. Oh, actually, I just put my contacts in. Just got out of the shower. Uh, just put my contacts in. So my eyes are a little watery right there. Can you hear it? That is Hurricane Francine. Well, Tropical Storm Francine now. It is uh, coming down hard. We got four to five inches of rain coming, 40 mile an hour sustained winds. I spent all day uh, battening down the hatches and preparing for it. And um, it's a good thing too, because I'm all alone. That's right, she left me. Left me completely high and dry, all by my lonesome. Don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I guess I had it coming though. You know what I mean? Um, I'm, a, I'm a hard person to live with and to be with. You, you guys can tell that, right? You see, you seen the way I treat David from Come My Homestead, and I'm a hard person to deal with. But um, it was time, and uh, so what happened was you got Jin Jin and you got Grandma Carol. They both left me. Both left me all alone. <laughs> I'm crying. Um, Jin Jin went to Florida. That's right. She no, she not barreling through all this storm and wind and rain and 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 ridge crib rocking and rolling back and forth and ho hopefully don't wash down the hill, right? She's in Tampa, Clearwater, Florida on the beach enjoying the sunshine with her girlfriends. Yeah, I see how things are. <laughs> She deserves it. She works so hard. Oh my goodness, that girl works hard. She works hard all week at the hospital, comes to the ridge and does all my work for me. And if I don't make her work, I at least make her film, right? So poor girl, she deserves her, her, her Florida vacation. And uh, so wish Jen the, the best of luck and prayers that she has just a, a relaxing, sun-filled, beautiful weather, relaxing vacation down there in Florida. Now, let's get on to Grandma Carol that left me. All right. She left me as well. She left out here this morning in the rain. Um, she said, Tim, I'm leaving. Uh, go get my stuff out of the kitchen, bring it to the car. I know it's pouring down rain, but you need to do it anyway. <laughs> oh, that's not quite exactly true how that played out. But I did, I, did, I did get the big box of eggs and meat and everything and take it out to her car. And it was raining. Um, so I'm here with um, Tater. Ooh, listen to that. Ooh. I'm here with Tater and Nero, Cammy, Ginger, and uh, um, what's I always forget the one that hides from me. Just Cammy and Ginger and uh, the little Chihuahua, black and white Chihuahua mix. What, Grandma Carol, leave me a comment. What is her name? <laughs> She, she hates me. It's not, uh, what is, uh, okay, give, give me a second. Oh, oh. Yeah, it, 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 okay, it, 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 I'll feed it, okay? It, it, matter of fact, it doesn't even let me out. Let me let, me let it out. Uh, the, Grandma Carol's got pee pads in there for whenever uh, she leaves and I gotta take care of the, the dogs. I let the dogs that will go out, out. But this one, what is its name? Oh my goodness. I feed them and I, I you know, change their pee pads out and do all that stuff. Of course, Tater, Tater, he's just a big old mess. Oh my gosh, that, that, little, that little pup, he's a big pup. He's decided he wants to chew on everything. He's chewed on garden shovels and uh, plants and uh, water buckets and ba basically anything, shoes, Anything you leave outside, that dog will chew on. Um, but it's okay. I can handle being alone for a few days. It's going to be all right. Um, but I have been busy today, even though it's raining. And when, Oh, my goodness, listen to that rain. I don't know if the mic's picking it up, but it is loud. These kind of mics, they kind of filter out the background, background noise a lot. Um, I've been so busy. I got up. Uh, started editing some videos, getting caught up on some of my uh, the family's YouTube, and then I did a deep clean 
of the Ridge Crib. Yeah, my camper trailer that I live in here, it's about 18 foot long a living space. I think it's from, from tongue to bumper, it's 21 foot long, but the living space is 18 foot feet long. And I did a top to bottom, I scrubbed the baseboards, I got the, uh, wiped off all the blinds, uh, the, the, the window sills that never get clean, you know, because the blinds are attached, cleaned the, the sinks, the, the bathtub, the toilet, bleached everything, 409, uh, microwave, vent hood, refrigerators, uh, the floors, the seats, uh, the, the everything. This is clean. So when Jin Jin comes to visit next time, she's going to be like, oh, it's so clean. And I clean, I, I usually, 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 I'm supposed to say that right, Tim. I usually uh, clean every week before she comes. I'll sweep them off the floors, dust everything, get all the laundry done and make the beds and you know make sure everything is presentable for a, a for a woman to enter and not be just like oh you know I don't want to have to deal with this after working all week coming into a you know a man's house you know so I, I try to I try to keep it clean but this today was a deep clean a deep clean and actually I think I'm going to give you a tour of the ridge crib today um, because I haven't done this, I think I did it when I first moved in, right? Of course, when David was here, he came to visit. I think I, you got to see inside of it. You really don't get to see inside of it very often. So today, you're gonna get a, a, a top to bottom, front to back, the good, the bad, the ugly of Tim's little 18 foot ridge crib where he's been living the last year. year ooh, goodness gracious, year and a half. I've been living here a year and a half and I'm probably got, uh, I'll be uh, moving the ridge crib as soon as I get uh, the gravel put up around the, uh, the power shed and the footers for the, uh, the solar carport, I'll be moving the ridge crib up to its uh, permanent location up there uh, so I can oversee the build, you know what I mean? Because uh, with, with, with the contractors gonna be coming in to do the, um, the foundation uh, for the barn dominium, uh, I wanna be up there. I wanna, just like when Grandma Carol lived in this ridge crib uh, when we were building her, her uh, log home, so she could watch over everything. We general contracted ourselves. Well, now I'm I'm uh, general contracting and building myself. I just I just spoke to uh, Dan from uh, Honest Abe Log Home today about my Eco Panels drawings. I've got my Honest Abe drawings. Now we got to send them over to Eco Panels of Tennessee and get them converted to SIP drawings. And then I got to go up there and visit and uh, uh, go over the drawings and do you know and do some more stuff. Hopefully do a tour of Honest Abe again. Not lose the files. Sorry. So it's my turn, my turn to uh, oversee uh, the build at the build site, living in the Ridge Crib. All right, let's give you a tour here, okay? I'm gonna pick you up. Be careful, guys. Don't get don't get seasick. Pick you up here. Move out of my little magic spot here. This is the where the magic happens. Check this out. So right here. So I can see, this is the, the magic happens. Ooh, listen to that rain. Ooh, the whole ridge crib is rocking. Good thing this GoPro has got stabilization because I'm moving. <laughs> All right, so right here's where I do my, you, that backdrop looks familiar. That's where I do my live streams, right? I've got my uh, Dell computer set up here at the, um, the little dinette, the little kit, dinette kitchenette. And uh, when Jin Jin's here, I rotate this TV around to be against the window there. So me and her can play cards and eat and do, do you know, all that stuff. But when she's gone, I set it up as a workstation. And you can see uh, I've got um, everything I need right there. I've got my camera. I've got my glasses to see better. I've got my uh, Coke Zero, obviously. Um, I check these out. I just bought these cushions right here. And these cushions are memory foam and they make it so much more comfortable <laughs> to sit because we wore out between Gamma, I think this is like a 2012, 2013 uh, camper trailer. It's a Forest River. Um, it's a ultralight, uh, I forgot the name of it, but it's a, it, it's a light camper and it's very small. And it's, again, it's 14, almost 15 years old probably. And uh, so those cushions, whew, they make it so much better. Again, I got a little TV here with a remote right there. Uh, this is connected to the antenna up top. So when we travel and I don't have uh, internet stuff, we can watch local television um, that come in from the antenna. I got my Xsense uh, Wi-Fi 
CO and smoke and fire detector right there. Let's me know on my phone. I did a review of that. Hopefully you remember that. So let's come over here. This is going to be a long tour. This is a very large living space. Um, we got right here, this is my storage. <laughs> so what we got up here, this is camera equipment, okay? This is like office supplies and things. I got tape measures and, you know, kinds of cords and power supplies and stuff. This is the entertainment section of the Ridge Crib. This is the, this is the man cave, the family room, however you want to say it. Got my big, this is the biggest TV I could fit on this wall. You can see I had to wedge it up in there. There's almost no room. It's the biggest TV I could fit in there. Um, I do have it on Wi-Fi. I have a speaker right there. And uh, that is what my sound bar goes to. I've got another speaker down there. Uh, that's where I take outside when I have fire pit time. So we listen to the speaker. I actually have two of them. You can connect them. It's pretty nice. It's Ultimate Ears Hyper Boom. And that thing is a boom. Um, so you got my road mic. I got an alarm clock right there. This is really nice. This is the things I got from my kids. This is a uh, harvest jar my, grand my daughter made for me. And I put all the cartridges of all the animals, a deer and turkey and everything we harvest here on the property. This is a deer hunter's prayer. I believe a Morgan or Alyssa. Oh, I forget now. One of the two of my kids got that for me. I apologize. <laughs> but Morgan got this for me, this little compass right here in this little wooden box. It says, thank you for always leading me in the right direction. Love, Morgan. Aw, love you, buddy. Uh, you see, I got my winner, winner chicken dinner right there. I got my three Mississippi uh, bottle opener. I got the uh, the wristband from going to Disney This uh, with Adelie and uh, Alyssa. That was so fun. This area right here, this is actually a uh, couch. Uh, and I pretty much keep it in the fold-out bedway because this is where Jin Jin sleeps when she comes over. Uh, when I, when I, whenever I'm here, I, I sit right here with my back on that cushion and I uh, watch TV and YouTube and all that right there. Uh, you can't put it into a couch when I travel. Sometimes we'll put it in a couch if, you know, friends come inside and everything. But I got a uh, memory foam topper on there, so it's a lot softer than just the couch for Jin Jin. And it's got, got enough room for her. She likes that. And I'll show you where I sleep here in just a minute. Here's the uh, outside door. We got a little screen door and an outside door. So let's see, I'm gonna see how bad it. Oh, it's, it calmed down a little bit. You see my fire pit? Look at all the boxes and stuff I got out there for the fire pit. I gotta burn all that stuff. That's uh, uh, moving materials and building materials for up on the ridge. Oh my gosh, look at the ground. Look at the ground. It is a flood. Oh, ho, ho. it is a flood out there. Luckily the rain, it slowed down a little bit. It's, you can see the wind is still, Still blowing a little bit. Oh, the hot tub's overflowing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is pretty bad. Yeah, I gotta burn all those boxes whenever uh, it dries up out there. Let me clean this, uh, your lens off there. You're a little wet. Sorry about that. So there's the outside. Got a little raincoat right here. This is where I keep my keys. And uh, this is my mailbox where I keep the incoming mail and everything. Of course, I got a pocket. I got pocket knives laying around everywhere. I got pocket knives right there, right? I got three, three, four pocket knives right there. Five. Actually, there's five. One, two, three, four, five. And I got six. And I got, oh yeah, I got pocket knives. Everywhere. Every man should have a pocket knife uh, somewhere, right? Uh, David from Come On Homestead gave me this idea right here. Oh, Got to get one of those. Those are pretty sweet. There's my Wi-Fi. I get Wi-Fi extended. I have a right outside on the tongue of the um, uh, ridge crib out there. I got a uh, wireless gateway that points to Grandma Carol's over there. And that's how I get my Wi-Fi. I got uh, all kinds of things like I need to review and stuff, you know, up under there. Uh, batteries for trail cameras and stuff like that. I got lots of shoes. Let me back up a little bit. The boots and shoes, that's my boots and shoe, shoe storage under there. And I just mopped the floor and it's already dirty. Can you imagine that? Right here, we have Jin Jin's fan. She got to have her a fan with some noise when she sleeps. So that's hers right there. Whoa, there we go. She likes that noise, that white noise. So, me, I can take the perfect silence myself. Ah! All right, got a sink right there. Got my coffee maker. Got my air fryer. This is a, uh, a gas stove. I can take this uh, off right here and cook on the gas stove if I need to, but pretty much I got the microwave, the air fryer, and a coffee pot. Pretty much all man needs, right? <laughs> coffee, uh, work-life coffee. Don't forget, uh, buy three K-cups 
pa packages of 12, get one free, free shipping, $29.99 or more. Um, go check it out. Uh, no code, no Ridge Life code or anything needed. That's uh, buy three, get one free for the uh, 12 pack K cups. I'll be doing a giveaway of Work Life Coffee this coming Tuesday on Ridge Life on uh, my Tuesday Night Live. So be, be there, be square. Um, so yeah, we got a hot, uh, microwave up here. It's kind of small, not very big power. I got my meat thermometer stuck right there. Check this out, Southern Blessed Homestead, my little Adley, and then there's some crazy uh, crazy kids right there. Imagine that, David looking all bored and stuff. Huh? Um, I got a emergency flashlight, emergency candle right there. Oh, this is, uh, got the adult beverages and cups over there, and this is where I got silverware and paper towels and paper products. Come around over here on this side. I got a little stereo system. I don't use that at all because I have my, my Bluetooth speakers and everything. My little pantry. Also got games in here. Farkle, Uno, uh, Phase 10. Got some popcorn. Got some Cliff Bars, some peanut butter, and some gum. And lots of jellies and jams people send me. I got them over here. Just got my Coke Zero, my beverages. Got some bread. Got all kinds of chips. And of course, guys, got to have a ton of the night shift work-life coffee. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So let me go walk back up over here so you can see. This is what this is what it all looks like from this view. You can see uh, this is the living area in the front. And then back there is my bathroom uh, and bedding area. So let's go back there and see what that looks like. Oh, before I go there, I got a uh, freezer. I got a hunger man, some hot pockets. I got some ice, some popsicles, and uh, some uh, pizza rolls. Of course, that's again what every man needs, right? Open up the refrigerator. I got some Coke Zero. Imagine that. And all the labels are facing forward. Uh, some, somebody's a little bit OCD, right? Here's Jin Jin's uh, uh, strawberry Atkins protein shakes. I got a little bologna and cheese. I got some, I got some other uh, meats down here. Water, pickles, and condiments. That's pretty much all I got. You know what I'm saying? All right, come back here. I got a little hat rack and, and uh, belts. This is the uh, where I get ready in the mornings. I got uh, towels and everything down there and extra toilet paper. I got all my uh, uh, getting ready stuff. This is a medicine cabinet. Woo, look at it all there. All the labels facing forward, too. Imagine that. All right, so now... This is the bed. This is where I sleep. This is, I took out the uh, camper bed that was in there and I put a 10 inch memory foam. I had actually had, had actually had to cut it down to fit in there. It was a pain in the butt, but it's, I wish I were going with the eight inch thick because you can see I ain't got much room at all. It's like being in the Navy again, sleeping in a coffin. That's exactly, but in the Navy, I had about two thirds that big. About like this one up here, about like this bunk. Now on this upper bunk, this is, my storage. You see, I got my hats back over there. I got shorts here. That's uh, some of Jin Jin stuff. I got socks and sweatpants and swim trunks and shorts. I got uh, athletic shorts, underwear, socks, t-shirts. I got jeans up there, hats, and of course, got to get a quick action pew pew right there. I got pew pews all over this thing, and I ain't telling you where they're at. Let's go into the bathroom. That's how big the bathroom is. And you can see, got a little shower. Everything's nice and clean in here. Of course, it's nice and clean. You think I am nasty? I uh, got Jin Jin's soap and my soaps and all this stuff. I got the exhaust fan up there and uh, got a little trash can. Here is the uh, RV toilet. That's how that works, in case you're wondering. I got a little lever right there. And um, that, guys, in a nutshell, is the amazing Ridge Crib Tour from front to back, top to bottom. Did I miss anything? Oh, 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 oh. almost missed. Here's my t-shirt closet. Let's, what do you think I have in here? I got, uh, let's see, I believe this is a Ridge Life shirt, Ridge Life shirt, Ridge Life shirt, Ridge Life shirt, uh, three Mississippi shirt, Ridge Life shirt, come on Homestead and shirt, Ridge Life, Ridge Life, Ridge I think I've got a few Ridge Life shirts. Of course, there's my hats up there. I don't know if I mentioned that. I think I've got a few Ridge Life shirts. What do you think? <laughs> so I said it hurt 
When I said, um, you know, she left me, she did, but she'll be back, I promise. And I said, this really hurts. And what I said really hurt was, I got hurt yesterday. Uh, I'm okay, I'm okay. But if you look right here, it looks like I've got cauliflower ear. You ever seen those wrestlers or MMA fighters and their ears all swell up? My ear is not normally that thick right there. Oh, it hurts all the way up into there. I got it hit so hard. You're going to have to wait till this weekend, I think, to see the video on how I hurt my ear. Oh, it, it hurt so bad. <laughs> it was a whacking. It was a, a, a big time whacking. Um, let's see if there's anything else. I don't, I think I... It, it took like two minutes to give me the grand tour, didn't it? Oh, under these seats, I've got the uh, space heater and uh, extra toilet paper, and I've got um, uh, hammocks and backpacks and you know stuff like that stored under there. I've got a Blue Eddy down there in case the power goes out, a little Blue Eddy. Uh, the power goes out sometimes when I'm doing a live stream, I can connect to my phone, connect to that Blue Eddy, and boom, I'm back to live. I actually have to do that twice now. So let me open this door up and see if the, it sounds like it's starting to calm down a little bit. You know how with the, oh, then tropical storms, they, cut, they have bands, like those hurricanes have bands. And a band will come through and oh man, the, the, the sweet gum tree is just a rocking back and forth. Then you see those trees out there. Can you see them way out there? They are just a rocking and a rolling. Yep. But um, it's, it's actually not bad at all right now. Earlier when we first started, it was, whoo, it was bad. Kind of as bad as, bad as my ear right there. Does it look bad? I kind of like, I feel like Chris Farley and Tommy Boy. I got, is, it, is it here? Not so much here or here? You know, oh, that's what my ear feels like. <laughs> well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this little tour of the Ridge Crib. Um, first I've done in a while. Um, actually, I'm going to be giving you also a, um, a view of the barn dominium. It's been, some of you that just subscribed over to Ridge Life may have never seen the plans for the barn dominium, what the sipped structural insulated panel timber frame barn dominium inside is going to look like. You've seen the inside of the Ridge Crib. How about seeing inside the, uh, the barn dominium? Um, so I've got the Honest Abe drawings, way better than the drawings I sent them. Uh, I'll, get, I'll show those to you here very soon. I'll go through uh, and we'll just, we'll just do all that, okay? Does that sound fun? So I hope everyone uh, enjoyed this. Yes, she left me, both of them. Yes, I got hurt, and it does hurt, but I'm going to be okay. And hopefully this storm doesn't blow the ridge crib away and you never see me again. I'll be in, I'll be in, I'll be in Oz, okay? The great, I, maybe I'll be the great and powerful Oz. Don't look behind the curtain, okay? I am Oz. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Tim is a goofball. I'm going stir crazy in here, and I? I need to be out working, but um, I'm, it's raining, can't do much. I actually got lots of editing to do, so more videos coming to you very soon. So guys, until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Keep rambling and go ridge life.